Story time about how my mother-in-law accused me of cheating on her son. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not on my Instagram. My evil mother-in-law is the worst of the worst. And the moment I started dating her perfect little son, she would make judgmental comments on my body. And if I was ever in the kitchen cooking, she would be there to try to criticize everything that I would do. When my husband and I finally got pregnant, she pretended to be happy. I could see deep down inside she was hating the fact that I was pregnant. I think she always had the hope that he would leave me. But let me give you some background info on my husband. This man is lucky to be with me. Not only am I a 12, I am so kind and caring to him. I have way too much patience for him. Whereas my mother-in-law thinks that he's the one lucky to be with me. First off, I make way more money than my husband, so I'm the one paying for most of the bills. But guess what? My husband asked me not to tell his mom about that because he'd be embarrassed. He also doesn't know how to cook or clean. And guess why? Because his mother did everything for him growing up. So I'm the one that has to cook, clean, and pay for the bills. A few months ago, I asked my husband for a divorce. He ran over to his mom's house and tried to get her to convince me not to. But guess what? His mom called me and told me that she'd convince him to give me a divorce. Send me on Instagram. So instead of her trying to convince me not to leave him, she told me that she would convince my husband to break up with me this was all for my benefit because i was the one that wanted a divorce but two weeks later i find out i'm pregnant at the time we were still living in the same house but we weren't really talking so i finally went up to him and told him that i was pregnant he was so happy you think he even gave me a hug or a kiss no he picked up the phone and called his mother right away he called her on speaker and i could hear what she was saying and as soon as he told her she said it's probably not your kid how could i have not seen this coming at this point she thought we were gonna get a divorce so me having a kid was the worst case scenario for her right away she told him to kick me out of the house the house that i pay for that's when i grabbed the phone from him and i started telling her everything first off i told her that i paid for all the bills and that her son made only $200 a week from a stupid gaming thing and that he wasn't even bothering to look for another job and then on top of paying for the bills I still had to cook and clean and I asked her do you really think this is the kind of man I want to have a kid with she had no response that's when she hung up the phone and told my husband to go over to her house when I broke the news to her that he didn't pay for any of the bills and that I was paying for the house she literally lost her shit my husband hung up the phone and told me that he would never speak to me again god if only that were true then he goes over to his mom's house and guess what an hour later he demands I go over to her house to apologize to his mother I said that I would, but instead, I went over there and told her some more truths. I ended up telling her that her son told me not to tell her that he didn't make any money, and that the whole time he and I were together, she thought that he was paying for all the bills. Then I said, aren't you embarrassed that your son is like that? That's when she told me the only way she would accept my child was with a paternity test. How am I supposed to do that with the baby in my belly? Finally, the baby was born, and I was able to prove that it was his son. My husband wants us to stay together, but his mom keeps criticizing me. Every time she sees the kid, she says it doesn't look like my husband. Even though I already proved that it was his. I think that I should get a divorce. I'm afraid my mother-in-law might do something to the baby. My husband thinks I'm just overreacting. What should I do?